Hey, this is Don, TractionGrips.com again. I've received some questions about the uh, grips. I just figured I'd post another short video just uh, answering some questions. get a lot of people asking if the grips can uh, come off without leaving any residue or permanently affecting the gun in any way. A lot of uh, law enforcement agencies and individual officers want to make sure that they can return the gun back to the original condition when they turn it in if need be or get it ready for inspection uh, if the agency doesn't allow modifications to the weapons. Uh, I'm showing the uh, gun here. These grips have been on here for a few years now, so I'm going to go ahead and take the one that's on there off. And I've got a new piece that I'm going to put on there. The uh, material is really thin. It's less than a millimeter thick. So there's not really a whole lot to the stuff uh, other than a lot of texture and uh, rubbery feel that it provides. Anyways, here's the uh, process of removing one of the panels. They all pretty much go the same. Just take the uh, grip, grab a hold of it, peel it off. Any of the stuff that's left on there, it's pressure sensitive. Once it's uh, lost the contact, it'll just come right off. You can just pretty much just rub it off with your finger. I guess I need to get some editing software so you don't have to listen to all the banging around on here. Or at least get a tripod. It's a little hard to do one-handed, but basically you peel the back of the grip off. And you can stick another one on there. Just takes just a second to put them on. Again, no permanent modification to the weapon. You just peel it off and stick them on and you're good to go.